So I wanted to jump in and share kind of some musings on the fact that like, if, if you're on a journey like this, you know, with your health or in your business or whatever, you ultimately are never going to get ahead at least to the point that you want to, like you can make certain strides and get to a certain point, but you will never be able to get the actual results that you want um, if you are not in the right room. Like if you do not have the people around you that are going to support you and, you know, send you good vibes and give you, you know, actual tactical advice that you need, you know, like having a good mentor who's like actually done the stuff that you're wanting to do before, um, you know, having a good support system, you know, accountability, et cetera. And, um, you know, I'm really blessed right now. I really am. I'm a part of this, um, leadership training right now, um, which has sort of been the backbone of this project really. Cause I knew like I was going to have like, you know, super hyper accountability. Like I was going to be, you know, with a bunch of people and I've got their backs and they've got mine. And I know like, you know, we would, we would go to the ends of the earth for each other. Um, you know, while supported by these awesome coaches and this awesome training, um, you know, so it's kind of like, I have somebody that I'm actually like accountable to and they help me when I get stuck, you know, or when I'm like lone wolfing it too much and they, you know, kind of pull me out of my drift um when things get really hard and I'm like you know what I don't want to freaking do this anymore like you know and yeah I mean things haven't really gone as planned with this project per se like in terms of like actually making the strides in my health but I did have a lot of breakthroughs um in the sense of you know continuing to go on it and like to you know continue this project and really document like those breakthroughs rather than okay like I'm gonna do this stuff um because it it looks different for everybody guys and you know what you know what these tangible tips that you know like i kind of started off with in this series you know they will definitely help a bunch of you but like for me particularly like right now um we just have like this deep rooted issue like in my stomach and with you know some other like viruses that are in my body like you know epstein Barr and parvo and that kind of stuff um and we're just we're trying to figure out how to like get all of that out right <laughs> And uh, so we're just kind of like trying thing after thing, trying to get it out. And I'm kind of like, okay, well, what does that mean? Like, what are my next steps here? Um, and so that's kind of, it's been a little scary because like I thought, you know, at the beginning I was going to have like a certain trajectory, like a certain journey, like with, you know, certain people and it, it might just not look like that. Um, I don't know. So definitely, you know, researching <laughs> other options, researching like everything that, you know, I possibly can in terms of, you know, what, what do I do to get some of these symptoms to stop? Like, you know, what do I need to eat? What do I need to put in my body? What do I like, you know, just to have energy again. So it's kind of like, cause there's definitely certain levels where, um, you can't like, can't really exercise effectively if you don't have like the energy because like you're gonna burn off you know energy like when you're literally like not even really eating effectively because it's just going like right through you you know um and that's just kind of like the phase of the journey where i'm at right now which you know it's fine um no fault no blame no guilt no shame like you know i'm not gonna shame myself for not making more progress on this definitely um, but I did come to a lot of breakthroughs in this journey that, you know, I want to share, you know, in case it supports somebody else, um, because it's not a linear process, but the biggest thing for me definitely has been, um, you know, having this group of people that can like really just hold me to it, especially like if I'm in the middle of my, you know, in the middle of my shit and I'm like, this is so freaking hard. Like, I don't, you know that they kind of like remind me, you know, why I got into it the first place. Like, you know, I had a vision initially, right? Like for this and, um, you know, it's sometimes if it's not totally embedded in you, um, you know, if that vision isn't like a why that makes you cry, it's kind of easy to lose it. And so you kind of like have to reconnect with it, like reconnect with that vision and make it even stronger. Um, because it, it's what's going to pull you through, right? Um, so those people, but then, you know, obviously like my family, my parents, um, they support me continually. <laughs> and so I'm very blessed to have them. I know like not everyone is blessed to have such amazing family support. 
but um yeah I definitely am like I'm very blessed to have my mom who you know she's constantly researching and you know helping me with my meds and my doctor's appointments and like whatever and you know my dad too um so yeah ultimately having you know that accountability that support system and then you know being accountable like accountable to yourself um you know I do a lot of journaling I do a lot of videos like this this is a form of accountability for me you know, and that's what ultimately is going to pull you through, um, you know, even during the hard times as well. You know, I've got other people who are invested into this. Um, you know, even if I can't do it for myself because I feel like I have like a worthiness issue or whatever, like I can at least, you know, do it for them because it's like, you know, your, your friends, your family, your people who are supporting you, they want you to be the best version of yourself, like, the happiest and healthiest that you can possibly be, and, uh, you know, don't take that for granted, like, don't let them down, um, don't let yourself down, ultimately, but that's a whole other relationship to form and a journey to take, right, sometimes, I get it, because that's kind of, that's definitely how I was sort of at the beginning, too, I was like, you know what, like, even if I'm not gonna do this, like, for me, because I have, like, this masochistic, like, complex, like, towards myself, like, where, you know, I don't feel like I'm worthy of something, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna feed myself right, I'm, you know, I'm gonna give myself shit that, you know, I'm, and then I'm gonna be, like, on the bathroom for, like, three hours, uh, you know, or I'm not gonna drink water, I'm not gonna, like, go to bed, like, you know, even during all of those things, it's kind of, it's really easy to say, okay, if I'm not gonna do it for myself, I'm gonna do it for my parents, I'm gonna do it for my team, I'm gonna do it for, you know, somebody so that's um that's why it's so good to have you know a good support system around you um during all of this and even if it wasn't this sort of a journey like even if it was definitely more dire like you know just having a good support system regardless of what you're doing um you know is so important to success and uh, so yeah that's that's kind of my take on that so i hope that served you and till next time bye